he's the Secretary of the Navy. He's sort of the top guy. And uh, uh, unlike many military organizations around the planet, everybody liked Forrestal. All of the people did. He was really a beautiful guy, and he knew what he was talking about. But his people were essentially like a short name, a, a name that uh, was abbreviated. And uh, so it had quite a few different titles to it. That group were essentially the apex of the alumni. So at Douglas, we had the situation where putting together packages on different areas that we were working on in the think tank. Now, other people in the tank were aware of who Forrestal was, and they were aware that we should not be using his group's name. But essentially, every document that we came up with inside that secret think tank, how will this be accepted? by that group. Uh, are we deviating from their agenda? What is their agenda? Who are all of these people? Is the Bilderberg involved in this? Are other organizations, secret organizations, are they involved in this? We then structured our presentations to them when he came out to uh, assume Forrestal was the number one person in the country who ran the proper organization, the real organization to handle technically the extraterrestrial. We have now what essentially is the U.S. Navy Space Systems, which is not an organization, but it's inside of the secret think tank, at Douglas. That operation was controlling everything in the country and the President of the United States was not included. Top military people, congressmen, were not included. So here we are giving away the store to the people that are causing the problem. And I think this is hard for us to accept but this is what was going on. We didn't know it, but that's what it appeared to be. In documents that I put together and several of the others that were submitted back to the Navy, uh, I would make comments on essentially, who does this information go to? This was a continuous problem in the secret think tank. Dr. Klemper uh, is a real nice guy, smart, brilliant, uh, and you can kid with him, okay? He's my boss. Klemper was convinced that there were two different group, groups. There was the standard organizations, the Navy's levels of information, and then you got this other group up on top. And we know that the Admiral was heading that group up on top. He was the head of it. So, we assumed after he was assassinated that that was then true because he then was talking too much. These are the complexities of the program where we're off by ourselves, not being influenced by anybody. We're coming up with what we think we're going to have to do to solve a unbelievable problem. And when you don't know who your boss is, you do the best you can.